Hi there. Hi everyone. Peace be upon you all. It's been a while, right? A, in this video, we'll cover about how to create a map legend using Map Info Professional. I'm using a 32 bit version of Map Info. I guess this is a Map Info version 10, I believe. So, without any further delay, uh, we would like to create a map layout, but prior to that, uh, we would like to put a map legend first uh, next to this window. So, but uh, first at first, uh, we should if evaluate our, our map uh, before uh, layouting the map itself. So, uh, this is our map. Uh, we have this green line here and then this red line. And we have three points, excuse me, four points. So, actually, this is uh, probably saying that this is a oh this is the offshore uh, plan uh, locations uh, I think this is a building plan for uh, gas fire gas power plant so and this red line here representing as you may see in this map layer embankment boundaries and this green line here representing jetty plan boundaries and this four dots I mean four points feature here representing borehole so also oh, this, this is actually I think this is a uh, reclaim area uh, and this uh, four drill hole or four boreholes is uh, offshore drilling uh, activity so, uh, I think probably we should we should uh, put a label for this point first before creating our legends, right? So in order to do that, we need to go to the borehole and then uh, just activate the label because currently label is uh, label is off so we only need to click this a uh, button here in order to show this label so the label of drill holes automatically displayed we have four drill holes here uh borehole 19 20 21 and 22 but i think we need to uh, adjust the display of the borehole label first uh, in order to do that we need to go to the layer properties you can go by right click and go drop down to layer properties or by clicking this toolbar uh, above of the layer control window All right after selecting the layer first of course so uh, go to label display and then we can put the label positions uh, assuming this is the center or the object positions we can put label uh, attaching or uh, right in the center of the object of uh, or right in the center of the points we can put it's a label positions we can place the label positions uh, belowing the points itself and then we can also adjust uh, the label font style by clicking this button I used to uh, use box background for uh, this kind of uh, features and then set the bolt into idyllic I think we should change the uh, background color into this colors it's look nice okay and everything is okay set and done just click ok and then can go to preview first and you think it's it's kind of too narrow between the label and the point itself you can set the offset uh, which means you want to create a space between the label and and the point or the object so i'm putting nine 
to separate the label and the uh, object. Let's look okay. Let's look good. Yes, it okay to confirm. And then what next? Uh, okay, right away we go to the map in order to create a map legends all we need to do is uh, by going to map menu and then drop down from map clicking map menu and drop down to uh, create legends right here right there's no shortcut uh, to create legend in map info uh, we only need to go to map menu and drop down to create legends sub menu here right so clicking this one we go to the next step we're ready to create our legend so map info asks uh, what feature we want to be included into our uh, map legends for example we have a grid coordinate here we do we do not need that because uh, grid coordinates it's uh, not representing any specific or any main features of, uh, in the map uh, so grid, just remove the grid and grid mask. Gr grid mask. We don't need that. And borehole, JD plan, and embankment process. So these three uh, components uh, we need to be included into our map legends. Click next once again. Can give the title, but I would like to leave it uh, blank there. And then next once again. And in this case, we can change uh, the title of our uh, legends. For example, borehole, I would like to change the name into borehole, similar as that, and JT plan boundary. Uh, this is the default uh, file name of uh, map info that uh, not allowing putting a space between the characters but then this is not a creating a file name this is uh, creating map legend so you can change the layer name into uh, our desired name you can change the jetty plane boundary okay, okay. just give it you only need to removing the underscore character there and this is gonna be embankment boundaries all right or reclamation reclamation boundary just keep the embankment name all right and after all is set click finish automatically our map legend is displayed here Okay, the legend is dark. I mean, it's hover here. So when you think this map legends is uh, already uh, uh, fit with the uh, display, I mean, uh, in terms of uh, your a desire I mean when you think this map legend it's uh, ready to be displayed on layout you can create new layout right here but before that I think we need to uh, remove this uh, mark here because uh, in addition to the object or in addition to the uh, legend name uh, map info also labeling I mean, map info also put the information of the object itself. For example, for a uh, factor uh, object like point, map info also uh, putting the point name here and then line. So we can remove it by uh, double clicking on the legends. We've just been created and remove the point name. But in particular, this point. Uh, as we, we already talked about it, it's representing borehole locations. I would like to put the point name, I mean, I would like to change the point name into BHID. It's made borehole ID. 
since each point representing different unique name of a, a drill hole point locations. Uh, otherwise, for the rest, I just ignore, I mean, I just removing the uh, factor object descriptions. When everything is done and looks nice, we get ready. Uh, creating our map layout by pressing F5 on keyboards or by going to a window menu and drop down the new layout window. All right, just hit OK afterwards. Automatically, your layout is ready. All right, okay, we can change the paper orientation first by going to File page setup right here and then change the orientation into landscape change the paper size I prefer A4 paper size because our map is not, not really uh, as big as it is All right. change the scale by double clicking on the map and don't forget to put your cursor uh, change into resize frame instead of change map zooming because we want to uh, rescale the, the entire map not specific area of the map so the default scale I mean the current scale is one centimeter over 3000 of 115 I would like to enlarge it a little bit into let's say 2500 perhaps all right, that's it. All right, it's really great, nice and good. You can put a map legend somewhere in here. You can see the actual printed site by right click on the on the layout window and drop down to a view actual scale. This is a printed view of our map when you uh, print your map uh, into hard printed or into PDF versions. Probably saying. Uh, in addition, you may also put, if you like, a scale bar and not arrow somewhere in here. All right. We have already covered about this topic uh, before in our previous videos. Drawing scale bar by employing a scale bar toolbar here. I change the size into meters, perhaps. Right, let's say I want to put 100 meter first, it's too small, right? Change the scale bar size, uh, double the size into 200 meters. Okay, it's look nice and visible. I need to, uh, any uh, features or any factor file on the map that uh, that being created uh, automatically without creating any table first it will be stored into cosmetic layers so in order to store this map you, you can uh, convert this cosmetic layer into new table or you can keep it into uh, this display by saving uh, the object into a new workspace file all right we have a cover we've discussed about this uh, in our previous video Okay, when we're selecting this, uh, what we say, scale bar object, the cosmetic layer uh, highlighted into bold. Okay, you can enable editing by clicking this or by right click, make selected layer editable. It's same process. I would like to put the scale bar somewhere here in order to make it look more nice not cover or not blocking the our uh, map content here and I would like to put note a row somewhere in here perhaps right, right there 
precise the map arrow what oh, looks nice click and drag after blocking and you see mark marquee select here and, and everything is already adjust and it's look nice right go back to our layout and this is our layout and the map is ready to be printed well this that's all for today create map layout here maybe excuse me map legend here and uh, put in, uh, and adding uh, some other properties in our map so perhaps that's all for today oh I forgot to put a legend label here you can create it manually by uh, going into our layout window and then start adding some text or some uh, perhaps informations uh, regarding to uh, our new features for example I would like to put uh, the title of our map legend here uh, I will put a rectangle here right rectangle but the rectangle apparently not the same size as this can double click into our map legends copy the x boundary here and paste it here right x boundary to here in order just fitting the size of our object uh, with respect to uh, another reference here uh, by holding control button and tabbing row button on keyboard so and I only need to remove the boundary line okay look nice and give the legend name map legend right there All right. All right. That's your map. Uh, don't forget to save the workspace file by going to file, save workspace, or by uh, using shortcut control plus K on keyboard so I would like to save actually I have created the map legend for this video for this tutorial I want to replace uh, my current uh, workspace file excuse me all right that's all for today uh, have a great successful day and thanks for watching.